Hi friends, Wanda Yarn Addict here bringing you another stitch pattern tutorial. And for today, I'm going to show you how to crochet this Snapdragon stitch pattern. It's super nice. It looks complicated, but I promise you it is not. It is very simple to work up. We are working with a series of treble crochets, half double crochet clusters, and chains throughout. Now I used a medium four weight yarn for this. More specifically, I used Red Heart Super Saver Ombre in the colorway Scuba. It's super nice, and they recommend a five and a half millimeter crochet hook for this, but because I want the drape, I went ahead and used a six millimeter crochet hook. Now feel free to use whatever yarn you'd like. I do suggest perhaps going with the recommended hook size, and then if you want the drape, go ahead and hook up a size or two. Okay, now this works up in multiples of five plus four for the beginning chain. And we have two uh, setup rows here. So rows one and two are setup rows. And then three, four, five, and six are the repeat. So this is a four row repeat pattern. Okay, so after row six, we're gonna go back and begin row three again three, four, five, and six. So then it goes on and so forth, okay? So you can make this as long or as short as you would like. Um, the possibilities are endless. And when your project is done, if you wanna turn it this way and display it on its side, the pattern is beautiful however you wanna display it. So without further ado, my friends, let's go ahead and get this tutorial started. Okay friends, so to get started what we want to do is create a slip knot on our hook. However you do this is absolutely fine. This is how I do it. And from here we're going to chain multiples of five. So it's one, two, three, four, and five. And so for the purposes of this tutorial I'm going to chain 30. I'm going to place this on a brief pause and I'll be right back once I have my 30 chains. Okay, friends, so once you have your multiples of five completed, we're going to go in and chain four more. One, two, three, and four, just like that. And so from here, what we want to do is go into the fifth chain with two treble crochets. And this little nubby here next to our hook counts as the first chain. So one, two, three, four, and five. So we're gonna go into this chain right here with two treble crochets. So we're gonna yarn over twice, go into that chain and draw up a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, yarn over and go through two more. And so that is our first treble crochet. We're gonna do a second one in that chain. So yarn over twice, go back into the chain we just came out of, Draw up a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, and go through two, just like that. And so from here, what we want to do is skip three chains and go into the fourth chain. So from here, we're going to skip, 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 and go into this chain right here. And we're going to go into this chain with two treble crochets. Yarn over twice, go into the chain, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, and go through two. I'm going to do the next one silently so you can watch. From here, we're going to chain one. And we're going to go into the next chain and do two trebles. Yarn over twice, go in, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. I'm going to do that one more time. Just like that. From here, we're going to skip three chains and go into the fourth chain. So we're going to repeat this sequence right here. Two trebles, chain one, two trebles. So skip, 
skip, skip, and go into this fourth chain. We're going to repeat that sequence. chain one, and go into the next chain with two trebles. Just like that. Okay, so continue repeating this sequence of skipping three chains, going into the fourth chain with two trebles, chain one, and then go into the next chain with two more trebles. Okay, I'm gonna do it with you one more time just to make sure you guys have it, but then that is the repeat for the remainder of our chain spaces here. So we're going to skip three chains and go into the fourth one with two trebles. After your two trebles, you're going to chain one and then go into the next chain and do two more trebles. And that's it. Just like that. So continue doing that and I will see you when we get to the end of our chain sequence here. Okay friends, so we are approaching the end of the first row. This is what we're looking like so far. So you should have four chains remaining. And what we wanna do is go into this last chain right here with two treble crochets. So we're gonna yarn over twice and take care of our first treble. And we're going to go back in here and do a second treble. And so that, my friends, completes the very first row. Okay, friends, so to start round two, what we want to do is chain four. So let's go ahead and do that. So one, two, three, and four. Then we're going to turn our work over and we're going to work into the stitch we just came out of. We're going to do a cluster stitch that will involve the next four stitches. Okay, so it's a half double crochet cluster. So we're going to yarn over, go into the stitch we just came out of, draw up a loop and pull it to give it a little bit of height, just like that. We're going to yarn over and go through two only. We're going to yarn over, go into the next stitch, draw up a loop, pull up a little bit to give it a little bit of height, yarn over and go through two. And we're gonna repeat that two more times. Yarn over, go into the stitch, draw up a loop, give it a little bit of height, yarn over and go through two. Yarn over, go into the next stitch, draw up a loop, pull up to give it a little bit of height, yarn over and go through two. And so once you have your four stitches, they should look pretty much uniform, you're going to yarn over and go through all of your stitches, just like that. And from here, you're going to chain one to lock it all in. And that's how it should look, okay? So from here, what we wanna do is chain two. After we chain two, we're gonna come down into this chain one space from row one, and we're gonna insert a single crochet. So we're gonna go into the chain space, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through two for the single crochet. From here, we're going to chain two, and then we're gonna repeat our cluster here. 
by going into the very next stitch. So we're going to yarn over, go into the next stitch, draw up a loop, give it a little bit of height, yarn over, and go through two. And we're going to repeat that three more times. I'm going to do that silently so you can just watch. Okay, so that's what it should look like. And from here, we're going to chain two to come down to this chain one space from row one, do a single, chain two, and we're gonna do another cluster with the next four stitches. Yarn over, go down, pull up a loop, give it a little bit of height, Go through two. Just repeat that. Okay, so let's continue with this repeating the clusters and the chain twos and everything until we get to the end of the row. <clears throat> I'll finish this one sequence with you and then I will meet you at the end of row two. So from here, we're going to chain two, come down to the chain one space with a single crochet, chain two, and then begin the cluster again, right here. All right, so Continue with this, and I will see you at the end of row two. Okay, friends, so I'm approaching the end of round number two. So I did a single, chain two, and I have four stitches remaining to do my cluster. So I'm just going to finish this cluster very quickly. chain one to lock it and so from here what we want to do is chain two and then we're going to go into the last chain before the stitch so if you have to roll this over to see it by all means go ahead and do that this is the last chain before the actual stitch so we're going to go into that particular chain with a half double crochet so we're going to yarn over Go into that chain, draw up a loop, yarn over, and go through all three of those loops, just like that. And from here, what we want to do is chain four, one, two, three, and four, and then we're going to turn our work. And so this is what we are looking like. Super, super nice. Okay, friends, so to start row three, we have our four chains. And from here, what we wanna do is work into the eye of the cluster. So if you look, in each cluster, there's this little eye. And that is where we want to work, in the little eye of the cluster, okay? So in that little cluster, we're gonna do two trebles, chain one and two trebles, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. Yarn over twice, go into the eye of the cluster, draw up a loop, and let's go ahead and do our treble. So there's one. There's two. So from here, we're going to chain one, and then we're going to do two more trebles. Just 
just like that, right into the eye of that cluster, okay? So from here, we're gonna jump right over to the next eye of the cluster, right over here. And we're gonna do two trebles, chain one and two trebles. And that is the repeat of row three. Just making sure you get through all of your loops. So it's two trebles, chain one, and two trebles. Just like that. It might not feel like everything will fit, but I promise you it will. So that is what we're looking like, okay? So continue doing this and I will see you at the end of row number three. Remember, go into the eye of the clusters from row two and insert two trebles, chain one, two trebles, okay? So continue with that and I will see you at the end of row number three. Okay friends, so I am nearing the end of row three and this is what we're looking like here. Super, super nice. And so to finish row three, what we wanna do is insert a treble crochet in the second chain. So we had four chains here um, from row number two. And so what we wanna do is go into that second chain there with a treble crochet. So yarn over twice, go into that second chain. Draw a loop, do our treble crochet just like that, and that concludes row number three. Super nice. Okay, friends, so to start row four, what we wanna do is chain three. So let's get our work here and chain three. One, two, and three. From here, we're gonna turn our work over and we're gonna work a series of clusters and chains for row number four. So to start, what we wanna do is we're gonna bypass this very first stitch we came out of. We're gonna focus on this shell, more specifically, these first two stitches right here. So we're gonna do a yarn over. We're gonna go into the first stitch, draw up a loop, pull up just a little, yarn over and go through two. We're gonna do the same thing next door here. We're gonna yarn over, go into that stitch, draw up a loop, pull up just a little, yarn over and go through two. From here, we're gonna yarn over and close all of this out, just like that, and we're gonna chain one to lock it. So it should look like this, okay? So from here, what we wanna do is chain two. One, two, that lock, that we did for the cluster does not count. Okay, so it's gonna look like we have three, but that first one is a lock. So these two are the two we're focused with. So from here, we're gonna go into that chain space here and do a single crochet. So let's come down here, do a single crochet, just like that. Now this cluster where we only did two will only happen on the ends, so the remaining clusters will be a series of four, okay? So after the single crochet here, we're going to chain two, and then we're gonna run the cluster over the next four stitches. So yarn over, go in, draw up a loop, pull up just a little, yarn over and go through two, and we're gonna repeat that three more times. So once we have our four stitches, we're gonna yarn over and go through all of the stitches. Chain one to lock, and this is what we're looking like. Super, super nice. So once we have our cluster, we're going to chain two, 
come into the chain space from the previous row with a single crochet, chain two, and we're gonna run our cluster again over the next four stitches. So continue doing this and I will see you when we get to the end of row number four. Okay friends, so I'm nearing the end of row number four. So to finish off the row, what we wanna do, I just did my cluster, so I'm gonna chain two. I'm gonna come down into this chain one space and do my single crochet. From here, I'm going to chain two, and I'm gonna work into the last two stitches of the row the same way I did the first two stitches of the row. So I'm gonna yarn over, go into the stitch, draw up a loop, give it a little bit of height, yarn over and go through two, and I'm gonna repeat that with the next stitch. Once I have my two stitches completed, I'm gonna yarn over and go through everything, just like that. And from here, I'm not going to chain anything in addition to my lock. So I'm gonna to lock to close that up, but that's it. So from here, I'm gonna go into the last chain before the stitch, and I'm going to insert a double crochet. So I'm gonna yarn over, go into the chain, draw up a loop, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. And that completes row number four. Super, super nice. Okay, friends, so to start row number five, what we need to do is chain four. So one, two, three, and four. From here, we're gonna turn our work over and we're gonna do a series of treble crochets similar to what we did in row number three right here okay um, so what we want to do is work into the eye of the clusters so if you finger your way through the previous row you will see the eye of the cluster and that's kind of where we want to work our stitches, okay? So for this very first one, what we want to do is work two trebles right into the very first eye of this little cluster here. So yarn over twice, go into the, that eye, draw a loop, let's do our treble. We're going to do that one more time. just like that. And after we do those two, we're gonna jump right over to the next eye. Yarn over twice, go right into that eye, draw a loop, and do your treble crochet per normal. We're gonna go in and do that one more time. So we have two. And then we're going to chain one and go back into that same stitch there, the eye of the cluster, with two more trebles. Just like that. And we're going to continue doing that to every eye of the cluster of the row here. Okay, so continue doing that and I will see you at the end of row number five. Okay friends, so we are approaching the end of row number five. And so we have one more eye to do. It's the end here. And so we're gonna go into this particular eye with two trebles. So let's go ahead and do that. Some of the eyes are very tight, but that's okay. Once you get in there, they're fine. So there's one. And here is two. Very nice. Okay, so once those are done, we're gonna go into the last chain before the stitch. Just roll it around if you have to. 
it's right there. We're gonna go into that chain right there with a treble crochet. Just like that. Okay, and so that is what we're looking like. It's so nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started for round number six. Okay friends, so to start row six, what we wanna do is pick up our work and chain four. Once we have four, we're gonna turn our work over and we're gonna work a series of clusters. So this time around, we're gonna begin with a series of four just like we did down here in row two, okay? So let's yarn over, go into that very first stitch. We're not going into the one we came out of. We're gonna jump into these two trebles here. So yarn over and we're gonna go into the stitch, draw up a loop, pull up a little bit, yarn over and go through two, and we're gonna repeat that next door here. Just like that. We're going to do it two more times. Once we have four on the hook, plus the one from our chain there, so you should have five loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over and go through all of those loops. And you're going to chain one to lock it in. Just like that. So from here, we're going to chain two, come down into the chain space and do a single crochet, chain two more, and we're gonna repeat our cluster. So I'm gonna do this silently so you can just watch. Once you have all four of those on your hook, you should have five loops on the hook. Yarn over and go through all the loops. Chain one to lock it in. Chain two. Come down into your chain space from the previous row and do a single crochet. And that is what we're looking like here. So continue doing this and I will see you at the end of the row. Just make sure that after you do your single, you chain two more and then begin your sequence for the cluster, okay? So continue doing that and I will see you at the end of the row. Okay friends, I am nearing the end of row number six and so I have one more series of stitches here to form a cluster. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that very quickly. two, that's three, and that's four. Yarn over, go through all this, the loops there, chain one to lock it. And so to finish the row here, what we wanna do is go into the last chain before the stitch, which is right there, and we're gonna do a half double crochet. So yarn over, Go into that chain, draw up a loop, yarn over and go through all three loops, just like that. So, we have the six rows here, and from here, once you have your six rows, we are repeating rows three through six. So three, four, five, and six. These are the repeat rows here. Rows one and two are setup rows. Rows three through six are the repeat rows, okay? So what we're gonna do from here is repeat row number three, okay? So to start, what we're gonna do is chain four. So one, two, three, and four. We're gonna turn our work over 
and we're going to do a series of trebles. So if you turn your work and look, look down here at row number three, we're literally just going to be working into the eye of the clusters. Okay, so I'll do the first one with you guys, and then I will pause us and go to the end of the row. Okay, so a series of two trebles, chain one, two trebles is what we're going to do here. Yarn over twice, go into that eye, do two trebles. We're going to chain one and then go back into that eye with two more trebles. Okay, so that's the first one there and continue on with that. Again, this is a repeat from row number three, and I will see you at the end of row number seven, okay? Okay, friends, so I am at the end of row number seven, which again was the repeat from row number three. And so from here, I'm going to insert a treble crochet into the second chain. So yarn over twice, go into that second chain. Just like that, insert a treble, and that is the end of row number seven. So for row number eight, we are going to be repeating row number four. So to do that, we are going to go ahead and chain three. So one, two, three. We're going to turn our work, and we are going to work into the first two stitches here and we're gonna do a cluster. So we're gonna yarn over, go into the stitch, drop a loop, give it a little bit of leeway there, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go next door, and do the same thing, drop a loop, lift that up a little bit, yarn over and go through two. Yarn over now and go through all three loops, chain one to lock. And then from here, we're gonna chain two, come down, chain two and do another cluster, okay? So let's chain two, come down into that chain space with a single crochet, chain two, and now we're gonna do our cluster. So yarn over, go down and pull that up. And we're just gonna do this to the next four stitches. Just like that. So we're going to yarn over and go through all those loops, chain one to lock, and we're going to repeat with the chain two, single, and chain two. Okay, so continue with row eight, and I will see you at the other side there. Okay, friends, I am nearing the end of row eight. I did my cluster here of four stitches. I chained one to lock and now I'm going to chain two. Come down into this chain one space here with a single crochet. I'm going to chain two and then I'm going to do one final cluster with these last two stitches here. So I'm going to yarn over, go in, drop a loop, give it some height, yarn over and go through two and I'm going to do that one more time. From here, I'm going to yarn over and go through all three loops, chain one to lock, and then from here, I'm going to insert a double crochet into the last chain before the stitch, which is right here between my thumbs. So I'm going to yarn over, go into that stitch very carefully, drop a loop, and do a double crochet. Okay, so that's pretty much it. We're going to just continue working here. I'm going to do the remainder of that sequence off camera just to show you what this looks like um, on a slightly larger scale here and I will be right back, okay? Okay friends, so this is what we're looking like here. I've done several more rows. 
It's very, very nice. Again, as I mentioned, you start out with two setup rows, and then the next four rows are the repeat. Okay, so three, four, five, and six. And again, this works up in a beautiful fabric here that you can use as a throw, a wrap, a cover up. It's super nice. So that pretty much wraps up this tutorial, my friends. So if you enjoyed this, please hit the like button. Consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, and then hit that notification bell to stay updated with everything regarding me and my channel. That is it for this one, my friends, and until the next one, take care. Bye-bye.